Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and today we're going to dispense with the usual intro. We're going to get right into it. Uh, these are the new uh, Seiko Prospect Samurai models that hit the USA market. Um, I don't know. It's got to be within the last couple of days. Uh, I saw these exhibited at the JCK Watch Show in Vegas uh, about two weeks ago, and I was pleasantly surprised, and I was able to already uh, get them in, uh, and they are selling quite well. We've got three models, uh, one on a bracelet, two on a rubber strap, black dial, blue dial, and then this kind of black in two-tone gold one we got here. I'll do my usual. I'll pick up each one and we'll discuss it. And uh, let's get on with it. So we'll start uh, with the first one uh, numerically. This is model number SRPB51. It's a black dial, black bezel on the bracelet. This is the turtle bracelet. Uh, I believe, same bracelet that's on the turtle. It's a 22 millimeter lug. So this is not a K or a J. This is just an SRPB51. This is an, a USA model, uh, which we are authorized to sell. And you can read all the specs right there, but it's your usual specs. It's monster-esque in specs. You'll notice the movement is a 4R35. Uh, the second gen monsters use a 4R36. The only difference here is we've dropped the day. We have a date only. This is a 23 joule hand winding hacking movement. Screw down crown. So we unscrew the crown. We can wind it, can pull it out. The second hand stops and we can change the time, pull it out one click and we can change the date. It's got Seiko's Lumabrite compound, which means it's going to glow like a flashlight. We'll flip out the lights in a minute. It's got this awesome ratcheting bezel, unidirectional. 120 click and then if you're familiar with the Samurai it's got this waffle dial pattern check that out all of them have the same patterning on the dial it's gorgeous you notice the hands look like a monster I'll bring up a monster also uh, a little bit later and uh, just for a size comparison but it's got this nice stainless steel case it's uh, brushed and polished two-tone screw down case back the usual Seiko markings. So it is a flip lock, uh, double push button bracelet. It's a diving watch. It's ISO certified uh, for diving. It's 200 meters water resistant. Uh, you can see it. Um, when I pick up the other ones, you'll see it's got the Prospects logo at the bottom of the dial. Movement Japan written on the bottom. Not made in Japan, but Movement Japan. Knurled crown. Again, like the, new, like the uh, second gen monsters. Uh, just, you know, a really, really solid watch. Uh, the size specs, here we go. It's 43.8 in diameter. It's 13 and a half thick. Yet this, the size, here to here, it's only 48 millimeter. This is uh, not tremendous at all, you know. Now turtle-esque, I guess, in, in, in the case design. Uh, it's got through holes for changing the strap out, so if you want to change the bracelet, you just you know, put a tool in today. You don't have to try to grab the pins from the inside uh, and the, the bars come out. It's got Seiko's Hard Lex Crystal, which is, you know, better than mineral, but not as good as sapphire. Uh, and you've got your, it comes, this comes with a Seiko USA warranty. We're selling these now for around 400 bucks, all of them. The one, the Pepsi one's a little bit less. And then the other one I'm going to show in a rubber bracelet, it's the same price as this because it's got the uh, black ion case. Uh, but let's look at that loom. Wow. And what else can you say? It's amazing. Uh, so let's move on, and I'll bring up the Pepsi version. Okay, so same watch, same specs, same size, same everything. We now have a blue waffle pattern on the dial. Two-tone bezel and the, the blue and the red for the Pepsi colors. Case back. Now, the, the strap is this rubber strap, but this is now the turtle strap. Remember that strap I've shown you before that we sell this strap separately also? Uh, part number starts with R02. I forget the rest. Uh, really nice strap. Nice metal keeper. Super soft. Really nice. Uh, this is SRPB53. And there you can see this adjusted retail around 500 Again, we sell it for less. Uh, we're allowed to discount them slightly. Uh, but... The same movement, same everything that, that you're used to uh, with a Seiko diver. Really nice. Knurling on the edges of the bezel to, you know, so it's easy to turn. And then with that, let's bring up the last one, which is SRPB55. 
It's a two-toner, if you can say that, because uh, there's some gold markings on the bezel. You can see them. But then the case is finished in this gunmetal IP. And check that out. It's not black. It's not silver. It's like a gray, like a very dull gunmetal gray. It's done extremely well. The crown, everything. They've even IP'd the buckle and the keeper. How's that for detail? Really nice. Excellent. I love that they did that. Uh, it's probably the only watch that uses a, that uses this strap. Uh, so, you know, being a, a large production facility, you'd want to, you know, standardize and, you know, just say use this strap for everybody. But nope, they're matching it up. And again, not unnoticed by me, and I'm sure not unnoticed by you. Uh, that's a winner all the way. Uh, again, though, we've got, it's two-tone. We've got gold hands, gold markers, this black uh, dial. Nice action on it. Everything's the same, again, as the other watches. This is, again, SRPB55, and there you can see the suggested retail. Again, we're selling these for uh, around 400 bucks or so. But, you know, just, just really, really nice. Let's compare this to... Uh, and the other two Seikos that everybody knows, right? So here's a, here's my monster. So you can get a, a, a comparison difference. You know, I'll, I'll sit them here for a minute. Uh, you can see the hands are identical. Um, case sizes are about the same. And then what I'll do next is I'll do it with uh, a 007 that I have sitting here from another video. Certainly larger in, in stature than the 007. Uh, a little more grandiose, and bezel's bigger, the dial's bigger, the glass is bigger. What I'll do next is uh, I'll put it on. I'll put one of these on. Maybe I'll put the uh, the Pepsi on, and uh, you can see how it looks on my six and three quarter inch wrist. Um, I'm hoping it fits well. I think it'll be okay because, like I said, it's it's got stubby lugs. They do not stick out far at all. So uh, just give me one minute. While we're shooting from up above, I'll just I'll show you the box. So it's not your conventional Seiko box. Uh, I've removed the outer sleeve, but here's the box. And you open it up. And your pillow. And then cardboard sleeve and your Seiko booklets are underneath. So again, uh, this is made for the USA market. If yours does not come in this box, uh, you do not have a made for USA market watch. Uh, let's do the wristy now. So there it is, man. It fits fine. Look at that. Lugs aren't too long. Looks great. Feels great. I, I love this strap. This is this is probably the nicest rubber strap that any manufacturer OEMs, at least in my opinion. Uh, it's so soft. Uh, great. It looks awesome. And you can see, so I'm six and three quarter. You can see how much room is left to go tighter. And then obviously, you guys with the big wrists out there or wetsuits, you got plenty of room to grow. So... That's her on the wrist. So this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you the new Seiko Samurais in the Prospect series. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not done so yet. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.